Joining us now is Paul Peterson, the CEO of Next Leaf Solutions. Great to see you, Paul. Hey, great to see you again, Mark. Yeah, you as well. So uh, our viewers, Cabal Ideas and Small Cap viewers, uh, they generally should have an idea about you and Next Leaf Solutions, cannabis extraction. Uh, they also probably know that it's all about uh, intellectual property and patents for you. So give us an update uh, as to where you are. I've seen in your news releases you have more and more patents. And uh, what have you been getting and why is it important? We think intellectual property is a key driver of shareholder value in the cannabis industry, especially as we see these larger entities enter the space. We finished 2019 with our 11th issued patent. We have more issued patents around industrial scale extraction purification than all the big guys. We've really focused on developing this IP to get to that uh, tasteless, odorless THC and CBD based molecule that then get added to these uh, products. We've acquired uh, water solubility uh, emulsion technology that increases the onset time by which THC um, takes effect. So we're very excited now with our uh, IP portfolio, what we've done in 2019. We, I think we finished the year strong with getting our facility licensed, getting our uh, custom extraction plant uh, delivered. And so for now, it's all about uh, commercializing our IP through IP licensing and, and B2B processing. Now back to beverages. I understand that's sort of a tricky proposition, trying to get yeah. uh, for, for, the, for the user some sort of a result uh, more quickly as opposed to waiting 40 minutes or something like that. Absolutely, I mean, recently we just saw the largest cannabis company in the world delay their, their beverage launch and obviously- You raised... could say the name, Canopy, <laughs> Canopy Growth. You could say that. <laughs> We're very excited about the IP that we've spent the last year and a half developing, and we think it's a, it's a perfect bolt-on for our, our distillates, getting that tasteless, odorless, high-purity molecule, that then, uh, through this emulsion technology, we're increasing onset time from an hour and a half, typically, what you see in the marketplace, to as short as uh, 10 minutes. This is something that we, uh, we launched with Bev Canna uh, at the Lyft Expo here last weekend, and I think uh, we're very excited to see uh, how some of these, uh, these IP, uh, I think that, that we've developed and acquired in uh, 2018, 2019, start to resonate with the marketplace as we scale our business in 2020. So you touched on your main cannabis extraction machine uh, that is now approved and, uh, and you're, you're getting revenue from that yep. now. Yeah, so we uh, just commenced revenue in December. Obviously we think that's very important given where the industry is headed. You know, the cannabis stocks, the large cap, producers that, that are not in a cash flow positive situation. We're under heavy pressure in 2019, and I think we're a company, we've been very strategic on how we've grown. We've, uh, we haven't got too far over our skis. We've got uh, an efficient plant that we can process about the same amount of biomass as the largest two processors in Canada, but we can do it with 20 people versus 200 people. Um, we think that, that having a business that's a little bit leaner in these times is very important because it's going to allow us to get to profitability with our IP licensing deals, with our toll processing and, and white label manufacturing that we plan to launch later this year. And lastly, Paul, we don't have time to talk about the entire cannabis sector, what's happened the last six, eight months or so, but I've got your stock on, on the watch list along with others and uh, I'm just wondering, um, what do you think about where the cannabis sector is now and uh, do you think that cannabis extraction really is a sweet spot, you and uh, Metafarm and, and some of the other companies that do it, Valens. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think it's just extraction. I think companies that can develop disruptive technology that will have value here over the next five to 10 years, I think are going to be companies that continue to build value. But I think what the reality is there was a lot of talkers and there was a lot of, a lot of companies over the last 12 years that talked about things like funded capacity and growing plants. They just simply weren't able to grow cannabis at scale, high enough quality, uh, low enough price, to be able to compete with the with the illicit market. I mean, that's what the numbers have shown. A lot of big guys simply uh, got too big too fast. They didn't prove out their business model on a much smaller scale. We're doing that. We've learned a lot of lessons. Last company I was at, first licensed producer in Canada. My team's been in this industry six years, and we really feel that we have the right formula uh, on focusing on IP and, and, and really uh, building a structure that can get to profitability quickly, and, and more importantly, position ourselves for big alcohol, big tobacco, big consumer packaged goods companies that are coming into this space. And uh, we think Canada is, is a great um, jurisdiction to operate in, being federally legal. And I think the longer it stays illegal in the US, I think the better it's going to be for companies like Nextleaf that are ahead of the curve developing IP. We've got six issued patents in the United States and we're continuing to push forward with our, our strategy. We'll be watching, Paul, thanks. Thank you very much, Mark. Okay, Paul Peterson, the CEO of Nextleaf Solutions.